Hi, welcome to this new video tutorial. In this uh, Jasper Report Studio video series, today I'm going to show you how you can actually connect uh, this Jasper Report Studio with the MySQL database. Suppose that we have our we have our Jasper Report Studio like this one in which we want to create a report with the data source coming from uh, MySQL in that regard we are going to install a MySQL database in this case I have XAMPP installed you can see here the MySQL is running under this port 3306 and uh, uh, MySQL admin is running under this different port. So let's go to our web interface MySQL PHP admin and try to explore the database in which we want to connect. So I have many databases here, but in this one exactly, I would like to connect to the Spring Boot. Uh, database because I would like to generate a report based on this student table so you have to go here to our typical Jasper report studio under the repository explorer we go to data adapters you can see a plus here create data adapter we create here and uh, you have to select the adapters database adapter that we want in our case here we want uh, to make a gdbc connection to mysql so we select this gdbc connection then you click next here we, we call it instead of new data driver we rename it like mysql data adapter and here we have to select the driver we scroll down gdbc you can see here mysql two drivers but we take this original one from uh, the com mysql.jdbc driver we select this driver and here we enter the database remember this database name that we want to connect to this is spring boot we go back and enter here spring boot then we enter uh, the username spring boot and also the password here is our password then now if we test the connections you can see that we have uh, this uh, driver cannot be found by nets.sf.jasper so in order to solve this problem here we have to at the try adapter to uh, you have to add um, the driver mysql driver to our connection so you have to select here and specify our driver but by default this driver will not be there it will not be there by default so you'll have to go uh, and try to get uh, the driver if you just write here my sql gdbc driver something like this will be presented with a page with many uh, results but this one is the one we want to get we want to get this official one <coughs> from dev.mysql.com so we select here this link then we are presented with a page agree yeah ask me later 
then here you are presented with the type of um, to select the type of operating system that you want depending on your operating system in our case here we are using windows so if we search here we have linux 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 fedora source flat platform independence we don't have window mention so we select this platform independent <coughs> Then now you are going to be presented with two options here so depending of the type of compressed file that we want what we want here is a zip file so we select this second one and download it then we are presented again with uh, policy agreements we click later if you want you can just sign up and accept it and also here sign up but here no thanks we just want to start the download <coughs> then starting the download here you can see here that our download is ready we go here to the download page and after the download is ready what you are going to do here is to just select it go to properties and make sure that um, this security settings is in unblocked so we click here on unblock apply okay then now we can copy this uh, file and come to add it to our library we paste it here then unzip it after unzipping we are going to get something like this one so we take this part here where we have saved our compressed uh, uncompressed jar folder uh, driver folder sorry then go back now here and click add we present with this one so we paste here then we can now select the jar file now if we go back and test again spam you can see that uh, the connection is successful it is okay now so we finish now we are presented now with our mysql uh, data driver data adapter so now the next thing now is to create our first report so we could care on just for reports then you don't want to create a blank uh, reports as is just um, a demonstration for demonstration purpose so what we do now is that we select any default template we choose for example this one and this uh, floor landscape or it's a leaf green sorry landscape so this leaf green landscape because the name is mentioned below then if we click next here we are going to select the location where you want to paste our report so it's called leaf green we call it my leaf something like this one we just rename it then next here we select our data source here is mysql data with the jdbc connection and here this our database here then we scroll down we uh, expand it then go to table then select this is the student table that we want from which we want to generate the report then we can now enter our query select all from student select all from student then we go to next we don't want to yeah we want to select all the field then next group we don't want to group them by whatever it is then next congratulations is finished so now here is our first report here with the student id in the first column name in the second column and program in the uh, third column so now our report is almost ready if you go to preview now 
you can see that this is our report here is our report which is um, almost uh, ready <coughs> so yeah that is it now so if you want you can publish it to our Jasper uh, server but here is our report now if you want now we can export here as pdf or as a doc or whatever powerpoint file that you want to do you can do that here so now where is our uh, reports you may ask a question where is this file located in order to see where is this file located you have to go to the project browser here and if you select <coughs> sorry not there here so if you just select if you select this my reports here you can see that your report will be uh, located under this locations here here is the location where your report is uh, located so it is under this username and blah 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 you cannot see it because uh, if you click or whatever there anyway this is where your report will be located so i hope that uh, this uh, tutorial has been useful to you stay tuned for the next one and do not forget to drop your comments and as you register do not miss the, the next uh, tutorial Bye.